This is a slideshow illustrating the geology and fossils of the classic Paleogene fossil beds of Brackelsham Bay. Here you can collect fossils from the mid Eocene Brackelsham group. Um, this was deposited in a shallow, muddy sea about 46 million years ago. Brackelsham Bay is located on the south coast of England in the southwest of West Sussex. Here is a view of the bay. Where are the rocks? Where are the fossils? Brackersham Bay does not look from here at all promising for the fossil hunter. The fossil shells, shark and fish remains were beautifully illustrated in Dixon's book The Geology and Fossils of Sussex which was published in 1850. A 100 metre thick sequence of fossil rich Eocene sand and clay outcrops beneath the beach sand. To see the exposures a visit should be made at low spring tides. The Brackersham beds dip gently towards the south so that younger strata outcrop towards Selsey Bill. Unfortunately, the foreshore outcrop is usually covered by beach sand, but fossils eroded out of the underlying strata can usually be found in this beach sand and also in the upper beach gravel. On a good day after a storm at low spring tide, you can walk across beds packed with fossil shells. The first fossil bed, bed E3, is located about 600 metres southeast of the car park. It is the spectacular Venericardia bed. Here the sea has eroded the fossil bed into table-like shapes. The Venericardia bed is packed with fossil cockle shells, but other shells also occur, although many of them are rather weathered and soft. The most sought after fossils are the shark's teeth. They're beautifully preserved with a lovely shiny surface. The next bed going southeast is the Torricella bed. It is packed with fossil turret shells. The turret shells tend to lie along one direction. This is because they have been aligned by the sea current at the time they were living on the sea floor. The pallet bed E5 is notable for pieces of fossil ray pallets. These are the crushing mouthparts with which the rays ate shellfish. The ray pallets are strange looking structures which can easily be overlooked as fossils. Bed E7 is the Nummulite bed. It crops out opposite Sussex Beach Holiday Centre. It is cut across by a clay and gravel filled quaternary channel. Nummulites have disc shaped shells. These are about the size of a coin. They are made of tough calcite so it can be found even in the upper beach gravel where they've been washed out of the fossil beds. A notable fossil from this bed is the coral goniopera, which is attached to black flint pebbles.
The Quaternary River channels cut across the foreshore. They include the bones and teeth of Ice Age mammals. Soft preserved wood and estuarine shells are common within these deposits. Further on is bed E10, the Austria Tenera bed. This is the lowest bed of the Marsh Farm formation. It is packed with fossil oysters, but like many of the fossils, they are rather weathered and soft. Erosion of the foreshore strata in Brackwisham Bay is slow, so that after many years of intensive collecting of fossil shark's teeth, they are now more difficult to find. Back in the 70s, you could collect 20 to 30 in a couple of hours, but now, well, you might get two or three, but you never know.